Okay, so I'm running an unofficial uh, build of RetroPi because it's not it's not officially supported yet. Uh, now this one is built by uh, I'll will put it on screen because I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, and it was featured in the Rexa Show uh, YouTube channel, and I'll put a link in the description so you can download this. Uh, built version of RetroPie. You can use the Belena Etcher program to write it to your SD card. Now if you just put this SD card straight into Pi and boot it up and you haven't got a USB stick in there, uh, it won't actually fully boot. What you need to do is create a USB stick to be able to use on that. So to create this USB stick uh, you need to format your USB stick as FAT32 which I've already done. Doesn't matter what you name the USB stick but usually keep the name of the USB stick short just in case. Uh, and then you need to create inside that RetroPie-mount uh, as a folder. Uh, and so this is in the root of your memory stick. So right, right in the bottom layer of your memory stick. So you double tap on that. Uh, and then the next one you need to create is a folder called ROMs. And the next one is uh, whichever system you're using. Now I think I've got all these names right. I've been reading through the forums. Uh, well I know PSP. PSX is definitely right, uh, the Dreamcast one's recognised, SNES is fine, ZX Spectrum is right. Not sure about the GameCube uh, folder, I didn't, don't know if I have called it GameCube, GC or Dolphin, but it doesn't show up. But I'm not sure if there is an emulator for GameCube in this build. So what I thought I'd concentrate on today is the arcade emulator main. So you can see that I've got one called Arcade, that's the correct naming for it. Uh, and you can see I've got, I think these were created by RetroPie because I didn't put them there. Uh, and these are the various different emulators I was trying to use to get it to work. Uh, but what you need to put in is your zip files of your main ROMs. And you can see these here, so Final Fight, Commando, Frogger and so on. So once you've got that, so we're literally looking at, oh, double tap on that. Uh, a folder of RetroPie mount and then inside that folder you need a folder of ROMs and Arcade because I'm only concentrating on MAME in this video uh, and you can see that you put your zips in there. Right, so let's uh, go off this and then boot up the Pi. Okay, so I've put my USB stick in, um, I've plugged in my SD card, I've got my wired Xbox 360 controller and I've got a mouse and keyboard plugged in, although I don't think you need the mouse and keyboard for this bit, as long as everything goes correctly. Okay, so this is what you're welcome with the first time you boot it up, uh, as long as you've got a, a USB stick plugged in with your games in the right folders. Uh, and so you can see that one game had detected, so I'm gonna press and hold the A button there you go, and you can see it detected it as a, an Xbox 360 controller. So, uh, you and you need to be really careful about this because some of these buttons are the whole interface for RetroPie, and so if you mess it up, you can get around it, but it's it's a pain. So I just ended up uh, re-flashing my card, um, so I'm starting from scratch. So, pad up, pad down, left, right. Start and select are easy on an Xbox 360 controller. Now the buttons here, uh, are differently labeled to uh, the Xbox. So have a look at what it says on screen. So I'm gonna press B for A, because that's where it is. And then the bottom button, the top button, and the left button. Uh, so left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger. You get the idea. Um, left, th left thumb and right thumb are the push down on the analog buttons. So I'll push down on the analog left stick, push down on the analog right stick, uh, and then this is self-explanatory, left stick, right stick. And this one's a real crucial one. The hotkey is what quits you out of a game, but it's not just this key on its own. It will be, uh, so I'm gonna press the Xbox button right in the middle of my Xbox controller. And now I can press, uh, There you go, so now I'm into RetroPie. Uh, you can go, if I go back, should have come up with that screen, but I pressed the button twice. Uh, so if I wanna quit out of a game, I've gotta press Start and Select and the middle Xbox button all at the same time. It used to be Start and Select, but you need that hotkey as well, um, and that will quit you out of a game. So uh, now if I try it first of all, 
let's try arcade and see a game that I know was working because I found that some of these games don't work you can see where it says launching final fight and then it had a name right so what you need to do uh, in the case of these games and I guess it's different for all different uh, main games but I had a lot of success with the one that was so if I press a button now uh, so you press any button while it's booting that game uh, and then you have to select the default emulator uh, actually it says default emulator and then you can do it for the game so in this case uh, I think I had the 2003 was the one that I had the most success with uh, and then go down to launch and launch that okay so I've switched over to my phone for capturing because uh, my screen capture device Ava Media device as soon as it goes into the arcade ROMs, it just stops capturing uh, and it doesn't see it as a relevant signal. Even though it's passing through it, it doesn't work. So this is on the 2003, uh, as I was saying before in the video. I'm using my wired Xbox 360 controller and I think, uh, let's see what button. So A is punch and X is jump. Good start. I was much better in the other video. Well, that was nice. Never like phone boxes. Right, so get some bins as well. Oh, I've got. What have I got a hammer? Or was that food? No, I haven't got a hammer. Get out of the side of the screen. But you can see this works perfectly well. Nice and fast, nice and responsive. I just get to the guy with the knife. There he is. Oh, jump. Oh. Oh, where's the knife? <laughs> oh, get out. So that's Final Fight. If I press Start, Select and the Xbox button, you can see that it quits you out. Uh, and let's try another. Yeah, so my capture device, when it gets back to the screen, my capture device says that it can record. As soon as you press record, because I, I just went through all the games um, and uh, none of them came out. It just doesn't like the whatever resolution it uses. So on this screen, uh, it gives you an option to change the configuration. Now all of the games that I'm going to play today work on the uh, 2003 option um, and uh, and they work fine. But you can do individual ROMs and I'll sh I didn't, yeah, oh yeah, because I didn't show it now because I'm not capturing. So press select to insert a coin, press start to start. This definitely better with uh, a joystick but it only works with the digital D-pad. Uh, and it's it's not ideal, <laughs> as you can see. I used to play this on the ZX Spectrum. It, it is a really simple game, but just something about it was really enjoyable. Oh, hand grenade. God, they don't let off, do they? Oh, do they let off? Yeah, maybe they do let. Are these the guys I need the hand grenade for? Well, this is a lot better than last time. Maybe it's good that it failed. Oh, there was a hostage up there, wasn't there? I could have probably tried to save. Okay, so that's Commando. Uh, oh, let's just try and do this by going down. 720 I don't think works. I'll try and go back to the, the end and try some different, uh, different ROM sets or different, I don't know what they call it, different arcade cabinets to get it working. Uh, so I've tried, uh, so let's get Frog out. So if I press B now, or A button, any button now, you can change the default emulator, uh, but you can also change it for the ROM as well. So I guess it remembers which one to start off with the ROM. As I say, all of these are working with 2003. Uh, I'm not gonna change anything, so just hit launch. But I will try changing something in a minute for, uh, say, 720, something that doesn't work. So press select to pop the coin. 
coin in. Okay, so let's try another game. Ghouls, Ghosts and Goblins, or Ghosts and Ghouls, or whatever it was called. Uh, again, you get that option to configure, but I don't need to configure for this one. Yeah, and again, my capture card has gone off, so it wouldn't be capturing this. I could probably turn the audio up a little bit for this because. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got stuck then. Oh, I see there's a little ledge. something there what's that <laughs> okay so let's move on I'm gonna come back to hype sports because it's especially good so I remember playing this uh, in an arcade in X uh, uh, it had a four-player cabinet all with steering wheels uh, and it was a really good game doesn't quite translate so well when you're using a control pad. Oh, and something different on this one. Uh, so, accelerate is the right stick forward, and if I pull back on the right stick, which I do when I get to the straight, you can see it nitro boost. You see that sort of smoke coming out the back. Oh. Boost, boost, there you go. used to really enjoy playing this because you, you could cut people up and you could bash them into the side and with the steering wheel it just was really playable. So another game, Kung Fu Master I really like, uh, again really hard on this um, because you had a, a joystick in the arcade uh, and obviously the proper joysticky buttons but the joystick would enable you to escape. Uh, if someone caught you. Now I'm using the digital D-pad and so you can't go left and right particularly quick. I could do it with two thumbs but then I'm taking my, uh, I'm away from the buttons then. So when I get caught, I really get caught. What's it, that's punch. Oh, there you go. So I need to, oh. <laughs> and it's not that easy to jump and there you go. So you can see that it would be easier with a joystick. And I can probably configure that. I haven't, haven't really looked into any of the other options. But yeah, I really used to enjoy that game in the arcade. I used to really violently shake the stick to, to get away from the other guys. So Marble Madness is something a little bit different. This also in the arcade was excellent because it had a, a roller ball. So you were controlling the marble by rolling the ball in any direction. Uh, and it and it really really worked well for the game. I'm surprised at how how basic the graphics looked. I thought I in my head the arcade version looked amazing. Now obviously it was on a CRT, so it would probably look better on a, a proper tube screen. Now the first level they let you in easy, uh, and there isn't really much that you can do wrong. Although you can go over the edge. But the second level straight away gets much, much harder. You've got you've got uh, balls against you, you've got different bad guys and stuff, and you watch when this guy, when he goes for you, he properly hits you. Oh, no, no. Okay, at least it lets me pass, though. And then down the bottom here, you'll see that these guys, you can't touch them. 
but they also try and jump on top of you like that God, I thought I was going fast enough for that so now I've got this platform and I want to go across no <laughs> am I going to get past that really hard isn't it okay so let's not spend too much time on that although it is a great game what else was on there oh Outrun was on here and that worked well Again, I'm not configuring any of this. It's all on that 2003 and everything's working on that. Insert me coin. That will be the wrong button then. Oh, and this works with the analog stick. So d different games work with analog stick or digital D-pad. They just seem to default to it. And obviously there's a way, there must be a way of reconfiguring that because uh, with RetroPie and everything people do all sorts of things with uh, their own controllers that they've made. You'd think you'd get past a truck in a Ferrari wouldn't you? Just about made it. Okay, so another game anyway. Let's. What have I got that I haven't done yet? So I'll try it. Let's try and get 720 running. So I know it doesn't work on this one. So select emulator for ROM. Let's try that one. And launch. No. So press a button, select emulator for ROM. Let's try that one without anything written on it. No dates. No, straight away rejects that. Two thousand, because the other ones are working with two thousand and three. And I'm pretty sure I played it. Oh, there you go. It works. Select. Now I'm trying to remember what was the controls on this. There was some weird. I put my coins in. Press start. Oh, okay. So just spinning around. And that. I guess there's a jump as well. I'm guessing jump is X. Oh, no, it's not. It's the red one. <laughs> oh, it used to, yeah, it used to have like a weird sort of offset joystick, didn't it? Um, that used to kind of spin around to spin your skateboard. So you could definitely, you could choose the angle you landed that much. Oh, crikey, it's a bit sensitive. Oh. Which way do I go? It's B, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I won't spend too long in there, but but glad that it worked. Um, so that that's impressive. So that worked on the 2001. So I might try um, Bomb Jack on that one. So it'll be still default into the 2003 because that's what I had it on before. I'm guessing. Oh no, right, so that said it was working on, yeah, that was on 2000, wasn't it? Was it? Let's just click, select it, select it anyway. Uh, select emulator for ROM. Let's just try that. And it was, because I tried to load others on Bomb Jack and it wouldn't work. And is it gonna work? No. Okay, um, and the other one I really wanted to get working was Tron, but I realised that, that that is also going to be one of those ones that the arcade game had uh, an incredible set of controls on it with uh, a little sort of dial uh, and a separate joystick and buttons and things like that. Yeah, so it doesn't work as is, but again, you could 
you could play around with these settings um, and just pick something else, say 2010. Oh, did that wrong. Yeah, so not working. I need to need to try more on those. Anyway, I'm going to try more systems on uh, this custom build because it, it is excellent how much how much you have on there, and you can see that I've got some SNES games, some uh, one PlayStation game, uh, PlayStation Portable, uh, and uh, Dreamcast. Couldn't get the Dreamcast to work. Got the PlayStation to work. Got the PSP to work. But I've done videos on that before, um, so I thought I'd leave that. Um, you do need for Dreamcast and PlayStation 1, you do need the BIOS files um, and you need to put them in a specific place uh, in the folder and uh, for them to work. But PSP works fine, you just find the ROMs and, and pop the ROMs in the PSP folder uh, and that will start playing straight away. Anyway, so I hope you like this. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. So I was editing the video and I realised that I hadn't uh, done hypersports and I said that I would and it is particularly good uh, and it's not working so oh I'm using the Japanese one I don't want to use the Japanese one qualifies 3000 blimey I'm sure the qualification was lower before let's try I'm just gonna try the different revision of the arcade cabinet and see if that makes a difference. So I'm sure well, I qualified and I, I'm sure I didn't do that well before. So let's just try it, but let's hit that. So that was on 2010. So let's go for 2003 because I know it worked before with that. launch yeah the f yeah so it's and the buttons are different but you see it's a thousand now to qualify so did they, they made the game harder in a later revision did they I don't know that's weird though I've got the right buttons now so I should be right right That was better. Oh, is that not the right button? Yes, qualified by point one, point ten. All right, let's go all out this time. Oh, he's there with four spins. You all saw that? It's on tape. Not a fake. I have a commendation. Right, I didn't quite know what I had to do on this, but I think it was... Oh, no, no, no. Right, so... I think you had to get an angle of about five or six from memory. And you always used to do it when the bullseye gets to the corner of that target. Be nice to get through another round, though. Good value for me, 10p. 
That's interesting if, if they made the arcade much harder as time went on uh, because obviously people would get so good at it uh, and you don't want them to be on there for too long for their money. You can tell them concentrate because I'm not talking. Oh, look, 2260. Right, this is the one. Not a bad start. Oh, nice. If I was going to have one arcade cabinet, I would be tempted with this. This or Tron. Really love Tron. But I guess Tron is an absolute fortune. Oh, second in the world. <laughs> right, now... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'll triple jump, I think. Oh, that's too much. That's too much, too much, too much. Right. You're looking around about 45 degrees, I think. Is that a foul? Might be a foul. Yeah, foul. Right, come on. This is the one. Oh, <laughs> okay. I did the triple jump last night. Never mind. Anyway, that was Hypersports.